G'day, it's Mick Hughes here, and I'm doing a video here for Rethinking Physiotherapy. Recently, there's been um, a paper published showing there's a, there's a big gap in the literature about uh, readiness to return to running after an ACL reconstruction. And what this paper found was that over 200 papers published on return to running, um, they, they found that time was often the, the only thing that determined whether or not someone was ready to run, even though best practice is telling us that we should all use, also use performance measures um, for someone to return to run. Now, the average time frame that uh, people were given the green light to run was about the three month mark. However, this range ranged quite significantly in the papers from five weeks through to 39 weeks. So we at the, uh, Randall Cooper and I, who've written the Melbourne ACL Rehabilitation Guide, we certainly uh, have got some criteria that we uh, want people to hit before they start running. Uh, we certainly don't advocate for a return to running earlier than three months, purely because of um, the revascularization that the ACL ligament goes, goes through during that first three months. We certainly want that knee strong and stable. So we, we ask people to wait at least three months, but also hit some really important functional criteria before they start running. So uh, first and foremost, we want the knee to be straight and we want the knee to have very little swelling. Then we want some functional tasks. I'm gonna take you through them right now. So the first is going to be the single leg squat test. Uh, we want five good, and the classification is good, good quality single leg squats off a 20 centimetre box. All right, the other one we want is 10 single leg rises from a 90 degree knee bend. So if we've got a, a regular bench here, we're gonna be asking the person to have their arms across their chest and they're gonna be rising up off the box uh, at least 10 times on their operated leg. All right, we're also gonna ask the person to do at least 20 single leg hamstring bridges off a bench as well. All right, while I'm on the floor, uh, we also ask the person to do a 30 second side bridge. All right, two more to go. We also ask the person to do uh, 20 single leg heel rises on their affected side. All right, and last one is single leg balance. And we're asking the person to stand on their affected side with their eyes open, one leg off the ground for 45 seconds. And if the person can do that, and they can be within 85% of all those numbers of their operated, of their uninjured side, we would happily give them the green light to return back to running. This has been Mick Hughes for Rethinking Physio.